Astronomers have been left confused after detecting a mysterious celestial object, detailing that it's currently releasing massive bursts of energy every 18 minutes. Those who are currently studying the cosmic object have described it as a lighthouse, saying that the object is sending out these messages three times an hour. Astronomers have said they've had no trouble detecting these signals, and that due to their intensity they're one of the brightest points in space right now. Interestingly, when questioned about what the object is, the team have said that as of right now they're not sure, and that it could turn out to be an entirely new object. The team is being led by astrophysicist Natasha Hurley-Walker from the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research. Other researchers who have been involved in the study are Tyrone O'Doherty from Curtin University, who actually discovered this object by using the Murchison Wide Field Array Telescope, which can be found in Western Australia. The Murchison Wide Field Array Telescope detailed the following on their website. The Murchison Wide Field Array is a low-frequency radio telescope in Western Australia. The front end of the Murchison Wide Field Array consists of 4,096 spider-like antennas, arranged in 256 regular grid score tiles, spread over several kilometres within the Murchison Radio Astronomy Observatory. Data from the antennas is correlated on site before being transmitted to the Pawsey Superconducting Centre for Long Term Storage. The back end of the telescope is an online platform, the Murchison Wide Field Array node of all the Sky Virtual Observatory, through which scientists access collaborated MWA data. End quote. Astrophysicist Natasha Hurley Walker said the following about the discovery. This object was appearing and then disappearing over a few hours during our observations. That was completely unexpected. It was kind of spooky for an astronomer because there's nothing known in the sky that does that, and it's really quite close to us, around 4,000 light years away. It's in our galactic backyard. End quote. Natasha did say though in an interview that it's not anything biological sending out these signals saying that whatever's sending out these signals is using a massive amount of energy. They know this because the signals that have been sent out have been detected all across the frequency spectrum. Oddly enough though, the researchers did say that it's strange how this one is acting, and said that they don't usually stick to such a specific time such as this one. For example, the team have detected slow magnetic outbursts before where these have been observed flickering on and off for several days, but notes that they haven't detected anything like this before in terms of how it's acting. With that being said, the team are fairly certain about what they've detected. Further investigations revealed that this object had a very strong magnetic field. The study was published in the journal Nature. The researchers said the following, We think it's a magnetar, is a type of slowly spinning neutron star that has been predicted to exist theoretically, but nobody expected to directly detect one like this, because we didn't expect them to be so bright. Somehow it's converting magnetic energy to radio waves, much more effectively than anything else we've seen before. More detections will tell astronomers whether this was a rare one-off event, or a vast new population that we've never seen before. Magnetars are considered the most powerful magnets in our universe, and have been known to erupt into giant flares and produce X-rays and gamma rays, implying they could also create fast radio bursts. Throughout the years, scientists have been able to identify nearly 150 various flashes within our universe. Within the past two years though, that number has almost quadrupled, and this is because of the success of a large stationary radio telescope set up in British Columbia. The CHIME telescope, the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment, was first set up in 2018 to observe and catalogue potential FRBs. In just its first year, CHIME detected 535 new fast radio bursts, and provided detail into the insight into their properties which researchers are using to pinpoint their origins. 
in late April 2020, the Chime Telescope and the Survey for Transient Astronomical Radio Emissions 2, or STAIR-2 antennas in California and Utah detected a new fast radio burst. This burst, named FRB-200428, is the brightest burst that researchers have ever seen in our own galaxy. They explained that it was about 3,000 times more brilliant than any other signal they've catalogued, and that if you possess the recording of raw data from your phone's 4G LTE receiver, you could potentially have seen a radio signal on your phone. FRB200428 was also the first burst to be traced to a magnetar, thus confirming the researchers' leading theory. It was also accompanied by X-rays a day earlier. Multiple space telescopes around the world detected these X-ray bursts, all originating from the exact location, and at the same time. This fast radio burst occurred in Volpeculi, a constellation set in our galaxy's centre, around 30,000 light-years from Earth. Although this observation strengthens the magnetar theory, along with the X-ray emissions, scientists are still unaware of how exactly these bursts formed, or how they behave. Researchers are now intrigued with the possibility of directional bursts pointed away from the Earth, which would be undetectable to us and our telescopes. They will continue to monitor the sky, and hopefully find further information to solve this mystery. So what do you make of this interesting discovery? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.